Hey everyone, Clayton here, and today I'm bringing us another Skyrim How to Find. Today we're looking for Blood Scythe and Soul Render, which are two unique swords. For this though, you have to complete a earlier quest. You have to find the full set of Desperant Armor, because you get the key to this barrow, and you need the key, and you have to find, so you have to find the four pieces of Death Brand first. And you can click uh, on my other video, which I'll link here, and here on the map you can see where it is. It's by the Scald Village. Uh, but anyways, you can click... And there, there should be a link in the description where you can click and you can go back to Deathbrand and you can see how you get Deathbrand armor if you do not know how to get it, which in turn you will bring you here. Uh, first off, there should be people out front. I may have messed up and forgot to get something, so I killed them before. And there's two Reavers there, so watch out for that. Uh, one thing you have to know about this is that you need the Ancient Nordic Pickaxe to be able to break through this because you have to go through Stallrim. You can get that by completing a quest for Glover Mallory to retrieve his ancient Nordic pickaxe. Uh, that is by Ravenrock. He is the smith in Ravenrock. So pretty much just go up to the smith, uh, talk to him, and he will give you the quest. It takes about four or five minutes to get it. So anyways, after you get through the stall room, you'll come to this room, and cue dramatic music. There is a lot of gold and treasure on the ground. Uh, before I came in, I have about 8,700 gold, and after I pick it all up, you can see how much I have. But yeah, all you, all you need really is the Ancient Nordic Pickaxe, and yeah, so you need that to break through, and if you don't have it, you cannot get through here. And after I pick up all this gold, which there's a lot of treasure and rubies and stuff, I, I think I about have 16k, so yeah, you would get about 8,000 gold in that, which is pretty nice pickup. Anyways, you just want to continue through the dungeon here, and when you get up here, you go up on this throne, and you can find... Blood Scythe right there. I think that was Blood Scythe. Uh, the screen's really small, so it was one of the two swords. And you find the body of Hawknear Deathbrand. Um, he is the one who is the owner of the swords and the armor. And as you can see, he's actually wearing the Deathbrand armor right there. You can see the stall room. So pretty much you just have to fight him. Uh, he will disappear from time to time, and his crew will come out, and you have to fight his crew. Uh, this takes... Uh, a little bit of time, it took me about 5 minutes not spelled up to be able to kill all of his uh, uh, crew. Um, they're not that hard. Uh, I play on Master Difficulty on all my characters, so th this is it on Master, and this is not the most strongest character to be using because it's more of an assassin. So, yeah. One side note for if people who usually watch my videos, every single thing is done on Master Difficulty. So you can compare that to what difficulty you use. And right here, he uh, he spawns back up by this altar. And then two named enemies, which if you read the Deathbrand book, you'll understand who they are. Uh, they are the, I think it's the people who are vying for his spot. Or like it was second command that wanted command when Hawkinger died. So that's, that's kind of cool that they put him in here. And now there's just waves and waves more of Hawkinger's crew. And you pretty much just have to go through this and kill all of them so he spawns again and you can take him out. So after killing all of his crew, he will spawn in for one last time. When he has about this much health is when he will be the last time he spawned in, or at least it was the last time for me. It might be because I paralyzed him so he couldn't transform out. But eventually I whittled him down and stabbed him in the back, and I took him out. And on him, he has the second sword, which is Soul Render. So the one on the table was Blood Size. You get a Black Soul Gem, Ectoplasm, and a Reiner Ring of Smithing. I'm not sure if that is uh, unique. Uh, or not. And see, we completed a Death Brand quest. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that ring is unique or not, but the swords are definitely unique. Uh, the swords are kind of cool because they're scimitars. I think that's how you say scimitar, whatever. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and usually you don't get these unless you have the Red Guard one. Uh, Blood Scythe, the one wielded with Soul Ren, absorbs 15 health and has a chance to weaken enemy armor. Yeah, so these uh, swords are unique to each other and have passive abilities. 
when wielded with Blood Scythe, absorbs 15 Magicka and has a chance to dispel Magical Defenses. So yeah, you pretty much have to use them both if you're going to use them. And here I'm putting on Deathbrand Armor so you get the whole set. Anyways, yeah, they look really cool because you usually don't get uh, Scimitars anywhere else. Other than like the regular uh, Red Guard one, so I think it's pretty cool. And with the whole set, it looks really good, so yeah. And if one, just one last time, if you need to know what the Death Brand is, you can just click this annotation here, or it should be something in the description. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Clayton, signing off.